Namaskaram. Today is Ramanavami, a day for us to reflect the ideal qualities that Lord Rama embodied and that which we strive to achieve in our own lives. He was well accomplished, free of malice, soft spoken, and a protector of his devotees. Let us meditate on the name of Lord Rama through this beautiful Bhajana Marga Kriti, a composition of Sri Chitrabina and Ravikiran in the Raga Hamir Kalyani said to Adi. On behalf of Acharya Net, I thank all the talented artists who came together in harmony to present this simple yet elegant composition on this auspicious day. movement in India has been there for several centuries. You can look at great names, uh, the Arvars and Nayanmars or the Haridasas of uh, Karnataka. In Andhra Pradesh, you had people like Annamaya, Bhadra Chala Ramadasa. And subsequently, we had several other great composers uh, like, uh, you know, uh, Thyagaraja. In the north, you have several great seers and poets right from Jayadeva. Uh, in um, you know, twelfth, thirteenth centuries, and then you have had so many abang composers in uh, Maharashtra. Brilliant people like Kabir Das, Tulsi Das, Sur Das, in other parts of the country, so forth. So in the south, what they started doing is around three hundred years back, we had uh, the great Bodhendra Saraswati, who was one of the pontiffs of the Kanchi Math. He was the person who first pioneered the Bhajana Sampradaya movement. And once he started doing that, his uh, contemporary, Sridhar Ayyawal, was another big name who actually contributed a lot to the Bhajana Sampradaya tradition. And this tradition was carried forward by 
மருதநல்லூர் சத்குரு சுவாமிகள் so these three combined are probably you know the trinity of the devotional chorus kind of music basically bhajana sampradaya is a very inclusive approach to music as well as worship it doesn't require the listeners to have a great grammatical knowledge of music they can participate even with very rudimentary skills they can join in the chorus of the devotional songs and the songs themselves will generally be composed in a very catchy way where you know the lyrics and rhythm are more important than the melody itself melody will be pretty simple in these kind of songs typically and uh, so it won't have too many sangathis like a typical oranga sai or konyadina na pai or darini telsukunti kind of songs but the fervor is more on repetitive tunes sometimes it can just be one line that is just repeated as pallavi as well as the charanams you will see some composition like pakiram chandra ragavakare mayam so every charanam will also be in the same tune if you take padipalayam all the charanams will be in the same tune this but there are other compositions this is a uh, typical tyagaraja's uh, compositions in the bhajana sampradaya tradition and then you have other compositions where you will have a recognizable pallavi and a recognizable set of tunes mama varaguru ayam marakat manishya maya so this is the pallavi palmare janabhi payalite sutra maya this is a kind of so you have a pallavi and a kind of a charanam in this so several compositions of uh, purandara dasa you see uh, which were brilliant and so also so many other haridasas who are being unearthed from karnataka and they are being projected now so beautifully you see uh, so many brilliant compositions coming out from karnataka of, of these great seers so again the tunes you can see in so many different styles and then you have badra chalanamadasa annamacharya all these things were codified and compiled together so one person who actually did uh, a more systematic codifying of these compositions collating this for a particular sessions presentation was somebody called gopalakrishna bhagavatar this gopalakrishna bhagavatar is different from gopalakrishna bharati gopalakrishna bharati composed a lot of uh, simple bhajan type of songs also but gopalakrishna bhagavatar actually set the tone for having a session where you will start off with you know some jay jay kind of uh, victory kind of um, songs followed by a lot of guru stuti or uh, compositions on various deities in different languages uh, so much prominence usually they did it in such a way that they also gave importance to the chronological order of the composers so you know they would usually start off with some jay they was um, verses and then go on to include so many other great composers uh, including narayana teertha tyagaraja purandara dasa annamacharya and so forth on uh, this wonderful occasion of ramanavami listeners can also join in in this uh, from the comfort of their homes and feel the devotion and fervor namaste i am apurva ravindran a disciple of sangeet samrat chitravina shri n ravikiran sir on this auspicious occasion of rama navami i along with my disciples and a few other disciples of ravikiran sir are delighted to bring to you niratishaya a bhajana marga kriti second kurunji ragam aditalam this composition talks about a lot of attributes of lord rama it also has beautiful prasam and there's a small jati portion that is interspersed with the sahityam we hope you enjoy our presentation thank you
tradition of bhajana sampradaya even fascinated uh, great composers like uh, tyagaraja utgad venkata kavi in fact utgad venkata kavi sings a particular song itself uh, where uh, bhajana amrita paramananda bhagavata santa charana renu nirantaram vaham yanam hari nija bhajana amrita so he actually salutes the bhagavatas purandara dasa tyagaraja all these people went on uncha vrittis so this tradition has been a uh, nurtured and fostered by such great composers tyagaraja for example hari de sudu vedel that composition he actually is talking about people going in this unjavriti doing this bhajana no so purandara uh, dasa says ragi tandiru bhikshage ragi tandiru so he had the tradition of going for this bhiksha so different people had different kinds of uh, approaches to this bhajana sampradaya and their compositions themselves are the biggest internal evidence that you can see uh, you don't need somebody else to come and document about that at all you can see that from their own compositions i have always uh, uh, emphasized that uh, even this is a habit that historians and music- musicologists sometimes have that they start looking for secondary evidence and treat the secondary evidence as a primary evidence like for example you want to talk about tyagaraja a historian or others will start seeing who else spoke about tyagaraja whereas i always say first of all go and see what he said himself that's the primary evidence what somebody else says about tyagaraja is only secondary that's not the primary evidence the most strong evidence that you have is the internal evidence of the works of the composer whether it is right. purandara dasa how many times has purandara dasa said this neen yakko ninna hang yakko namad bal bal vandidare saaku so you know i don't need you or your greatness just the nama that is what is bhajana marga namaste i am anahita ravindran a disciple of sangeet samrat chitravina shri n ravikiran sir i along with my disciples and a few other disciples of ravikiran sir bring to you rama rama a bhajana marga kriti set in sindhu bhairavi ragam 
Adi Talam Tishanade. Sindhu Bhairavi is one of the most populated ragams in our system. And this Kriti is very unique because it brings out a very different feel in terms of the flow of the music. And not just that, for a Kriti that is based on the Bhajana Marga Sampradayam, the chorus portions especially attempt to bring out a very atmospheric and an ambient feel to the entire composition. We wish you all a very happy Ramanavami and hope you will enjoy our presentation. Thank you.
to be taking part in this Ramanavami series curated by my Guru Sangeet Samrat Shri Chitravina N. Ravikiran consisting of seven Bhajana Marga compositions of Ravikiran sir presented by seven ensembles. I will be presenting along with my disciples a very short and sweet composition in the Ragam Junjuti set to Adi Talam which starts with the words Rama 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 Sita Mana Kama Shyama Nine Gati It is a Kannada composition with a lot of Sanskrit words It has some very beautiful short Charanams in the same tune with lovely alliterations Pankaja Pada Pamara Bhima Shankara Prema Saundarya Dhama Bringi Narada Antaranga Sthita Matangi Sodara Ananga Hitakara and the final stanza rhymes with the prefix of Trimurti Rupa Triloka Papa Tritapa Kopadri Nasha Shripa I thank my Guru for providing this wonderful opportunity to present this Kriti today along with my disciples. Thank you. Namaskar.
Namaskaram and Vishal Sapram. My team will be presenting Sri Ramam Bhajare, which was composed by Chitravina Ravikiran sir at the age of 14. This is a Sanskrit composition that describes Lord Rama as a hero amongst heroes, the treasure of Goddess Lakshmi the one who rules the hearts and minds of the devas and each of the nine grahas and so on shri ramam bhajare kapi ragam aditaram shri ramam bhajare te manas shri ramam bhajare Re manas shri
Namaskaram. I'm Vanita Suresh and I'm honored to present this Bhajana Marga Krati composed by my Guru Sangeet Samrat Shri Chitravina Enravikiran set to the evocative and ancient Raga Punagavarali in Aditalam. The composition starts with the words Narayana but makes a reference to Rama Avatara in the final stanza. It's been composed in Sanskrit and uses Bhiti Akshara Prasa, second syllable rhyme, right through and also uses interesting words like Vismapaka. The lyrical beauty and the bewitching tune of the composition belies the age of the composer who created this when he was only 12. My heartfelt thanks to several disciples of my guru, guest artists and my own disciples who were a part of this presentation. Thank you again.
the next composition is going to be rama 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 in the raga pun kalyani a bhajana marga kriti that is set in aditalam kishra gati the language that i was inspired to compose this is kannada and the theme of course is again highlighting the spiritual value of a bhajana marga which is choral singing and worship so this composition has been rendered by several of my performing disciples and so i do hope that you find the tune easy enough to join in whenever you can and enhance your own experience of this music as well as the devotional fervor of this thank you all very much and wish you auspicious and safe healthy days ahead I'm sorry.